back to another action figure review. Today we have, from McFarlane Toys, the DC Multiverse, Batman. This is Batman White Knight. This figure is part of Wave 3 by McFarlane Toys. It is 7 inches tall and comes with 22 points of articulation. So this Batman figure is based on the comic book story arc, Batman White Knight. And this guy was released on July 25th, 2020. So, a bit of an older figure. And I gotta admit, this is my very first DC figure. So I've resisted buying DC figures for about five years now, four or five years, ever since I started collecting. So needless to say, I'm pretty excited about this guy. And I can't wait to get him out of the package, take a closer look. So as you can see in the back there, he comes with a collector's card, which I think is awesome. And I love how DC or McFarland Toys comes with a stand. This is something that Marvel Legends should have added with their figures for years. So this figure comes with three accessories. It comes with a grab no launcher. It's pretty cool. It comes with a wrapped batarang with line. And it comes with a batarang with line. So it comes with one wrapped one and then one unwrapped one, I guess. <laughs> The easiest way to put it. So here's a closer look at the front of the figure, side of the figure, back of the figure. The cape looks amazing. Side and front. Bottom of the figure, two peg goes on the bottom, and there's the top. Closer look at the head sculpt. Awesome job on the cowl. Awesome job on the head sculpt as well. Really like this one. Even though I don't collect DC figures, I am a big fan of Batman. I'm not up on all storylines, uh, but I have been a fan of Batman ever since I've been a kid. So it's pretty cool to finally have some figures. So like I said before guys, this is my very first DC figure. My very first McFarlane Toys figure. And I can already tell, even though this guy is one inch bigger, the weight difference in these toys compared to Marvel Edge is way different. These are pretty solid figures. Take a quick moment to go over articulation. So his head goes down this far, up this far, back, forth, and all the way around. A little bit restricted by the cape, but the cape itself is very thin, very thin rubber material, which is, uh, to me, it's a great design. Those arms go up this far, down this far, can go all the way around. There is a pivot above the bicep, 90 degree bend on the elbow single jointed elbow. There's a ball joint here which rotates around so you can pretty much get any type of articulation that you want which is in my opinion much better than Marvel Legends as well. So if you want it to go all the way up and down you can or if you want to go back and forth you can. So to me it's a great design on those. So it's an app crush that goes forward this far and back this far. You can see a ball joint there which is kind of different. wasn't expecting to see that when I pulled down the belt a little bit. The ab crunch is pretty stiff and very limited, but the ball joint actually improves articulation back this far and back this far. So, pretty decent range of motion, and it goes all the way around here on the bottom. So, his legs go out to basically a complete split. There is full articulation, goes all the way around. Uh, double jointed knees as well. His ankle rotates all the way around. Similar to the ball joint in his wrist, goes all the way around. And you can actually turn it this way. And his ankles can go up this way. There is articulation on the toes as well, so the toes go up this far. So overall, pretty uh, pretty impressed with the articulation on this figure. Like I said, it is different from Marvel Legends, which I've been used to and basically makes up 90 to 95% of my uh, collection. It's always cool to collect something different too. So very impressed so far with this figure. So as you can see here, the cape is connected. The cape is glued on. So it's not removable. Really liking the cape. I'm not sure if you can pick up the detail on the camera or not, but uh, great design. I like all the lines and, the, and uh, the overall design of this one. As you can see all the detail in his belt, utility belt. It's pretty cool. There is a knife here, which is not removable and it's pretty soft plastic. So. And I guess you can put his grapnel gun on here, like so. Or you can hook his line on like that as well. So another thing too guys, 
no other hands with this figure just a closed fist on this side and an open hand on this side so this hand does hold a grapnel gun which is pretty cool no worries of it coming out of his hands it fits in nice and snug Not exactly sure how this one goes in, but I know if you wrap it around here, around his wrist, and it fits in nice like that. Actually hold on to this too, if you wanted to, like so. But it definitely looks better over on this side, wrapped around the hook. Looks great. Here's a look at the card that comes with the figure. Pretty thick card, pretty cool design too. There's a read up on the back of the card if you want to take a look at it. Awesome. I used to be a big hockey card collector when I was a kid, so so having a figure that comes with a like a card to collect as well makes it even more addicting. Here's a look at the base as well. Uh, pretty plain base, but I think it's great that they actually include bases with their figures. So this is everything out of the package. In total, comes with a collector's card, comes with a base, and three accessories. These, uh, these guys are $5 cheaper here in Canada than Marvel Legends. So $5 cheaper and you get a figure, accessories, base, and a collector's card. Man, you can't go wrong with that. Especially since I got this guy for 5 bucks, uh, $5 Friday deal at EB Games. So pretty impressed, pretty happy that I got this guy for $5. This figure is way better than I expected. If I knew these figures were as good as they are, I definitely would have started collecting them first when they were released. I don't know if I'm going to be collecting all the waves and try to complete all the waves. Uh, it's kind of late in the game now. Uh, I think they're already on wave 6 or 7 or more. So for now I'm just going to focus on Batman and Joker and see where it goes from there. So like I said before, very impressed with this figure. I'm definitely going to give this figure a 9 out of 10. I love a lot of things about this figure. I like the great articulation. I like all the detail. I like all the accessories and everything that McFarland Toys offers with their figures. So yeah, 9 out of 10. So that's it guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch our videos, to watch our reviews. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, lots more DC figures coming your way. I'm um, definitely hooked now. Please like, comment below too, and let me know what you guys think of this figure. Like I said before, I know it is an older figure. Couldn't wait to do a review on this one. So thanks again guys for watching. Keep collecting and stay safe.